Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Snapchat video! And for this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use a new update, which is 9.21.1.0. Let me double check on that. I got it. Oh, <laughs> right on the dot. So for this update, it gives you the ability to stack up up to five filters into one snap, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So here's a couple things that Snapchat does not tell you. Uh, for the videos, you can stack up to five filters, but for pictures, you can only do up to three. And unfortunately, this is for iPhones only. And when I mean iPhones, it means iPhones 5C, 5S, 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and anything above. I'm not too sure for iPads or other Androids yet, but only for iPhones. And that doesn't include the 5 or the 4S or anything below that. So just to make things clear, this is how you stack up to five filters into one snap. So anyway, I'm gonna take you guys back to my wonderful phone over here, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. So, let's put that right here, I guess. Okay, so to add up to five filters into one Snapchat, just so you know, this only applies to Snapchat video. Um, for that reason is because the new filters such as slow motion, rewind, and fast forward only apply to videos and not pictures. So for videos, just to add up to five filters, all you have to do is pick your first filter. So I have a video here pre-recorded on my phone with Snapchat, and let's put a black and white filter on it. So that's filter number one. To add a second filter, just simply place your thumb on the screen and hold it and swipe. And from here, I'm going to put the temperature. So that is the second filter. To add a third, put your thumb back on and let's add slow motion. So now the video is in slow motion, still showing you the temperature and the black and white filter. To add the fourth, just simply place your thumb back on the screen and let's add uh, location. So to add the last and final fifth filter, simply place your thumb back on the screen and let's add a reverse. So now we have a total of five filters, one being the black and white, the temperature, slow motion, location, and reverse video. Not only can you add up to five filters, you can still add text, so let's write, hello. And you can still get the painting tool and draw on the picture itself. And then you send it to your friends and they'll probably delete you from Snapchat. <laughs> let's X this out and let's do a picture. Okay, so now for Snapchat pictures, which I just took on my phone and wow, I look really stupid. <laughs> um, this you can only layer up to three filters and the reason for that is slow motion, fast forward, and rewind do not apply to pictures, only videos because you can't make a picture slow motion, fast forward, or rewind. So once you take in your picture like I have right here, simply pick your first filter. Let's do black and white again. Once you have your first filter, put your thumb on it, and let's add miles per hour this time. Right now it's zero because I am not moving. So that's filter number two. And to add the third and final filter to this picture, simply put your thumb back on and swipe to location. But just like the Snapchat video that I just showed you guys, you could also add text since I said hello, let's say goodbye because this is almost the end of the video. And then grab your painting tool and let's give myself some red highlights. And then you send this to your friend or your Snapchat story and people will either make fun of you, delete you, or I have no idea. So I'm just gonna delete this, let's get rid of it. Yes, let's abandon this picture. And that's how you add up filters. Oh, hello! Ah! <laughs> So that's how you add up to five filters into your Snapchat. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it works for you, that is great. But if it doesn't, especially you Android users, just be patient. I'm sure it will work eventually. Snapchat will update it for you guys. They always seem to do iPhones first and then Androids. That's the thing that I start to notice about Snapchat. But anyway, if you guys wanna see more Snapchat videos and tutorials that I've made, I'll leave them in the links down below or check out the playlist section of my YouTube channel. Just be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.